With the official release of the EB70, I wanted to take a moment and answer the most asked question I got from my last video. And that is, which of these devices, the AC50S or the EB70, is right for me? And is there still a place for the AC50S now that the EB70 has been released? And definitely there is. These two devices are both excellent and they have different scenarios in which I would like them better. Uh, the EB70 is just the bigger, badder brother of the AC50S. Functionally, they're very similar. They both have wireless phone chargers, they both have regulated 12 volt, they have very similar plugs, but in every metric, the EB70 has simply turned up the dial. The EB70 has 700 watts continuous, the AC50S has 300. EB70 has 716 watt hours of battery, this guy has 500. And it goes on for the ports as well. EB70 is 100 watt, on the AC50S, it's 45. The wireless phone charger is 15 watt versus 10 watt. And for most use cases, the EB70 will be technically superior. However, if you're going camping, you may want to consider the AC50S. You really probably are not going to be taking that much with you. You're going to be thinking about your 12 volt fridge. You're going to be thinking about your random devices, maybe a camera, and you're going to want to attach some solar. In that case, the AC50S is lighter, it's cheaper, it's easier to use. If that's your use case, the AC50S may be the superior device. It takes 120 watts of solar, which is more than enough to keep a 12 volt fridge and anything else you want camping going. However, if you are a techie or you're taking a bunch of equipment with you, the EB70 will get that job done better. Now, if you're talking about a blackout scenario, the EB70 probably is gonna pull ahead. The 700 watt output is gonna come in key, especially if you're powering electronics. The 100 watt on the USB-C is exceptional. That's gonna fast charge any laptop or device you can come up with currently. With 200 watts of solar, it's gonna charge faster, it's gonna stay charged longer with a bigger battery, and it's gonna run a house in a much better way. But AC50S is no slouch either. We've used it for several blackouts, it's done very well. It did come up a little bit short occasionally where I felt nervous that it was gonna run out and my food was gonna go bad. It never did, but I am looking forward to that little bit of extra security this year with the EV70. So take into account cost, what your needs really are. I also have another video with an unboxing of the EV70 if you're more interested in what that guy comes with and make your decision based on that. Thank you for watching. I added links to both below. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a wonderful day.